A las 7. Uh, lo siento, sorry. Las clases comienzan a las 7 y media de la mañana. Muchos van al colegio a pie. Ok, en groups no larger than 3 y no smaller than 2. Got real options here. Groups of 2 or 3. I want you to pick out the two most important things from that paragraph. And that your groups have to be people near you. Okay, so. What you say? Yes. Okay, pattern say. Let's stop. Um, give me one. Elizabeth, what was the one thing? What was the most important thing or the first thing you pulled from the chapter, first paragraph, rather? Okay, name of our school, Maria de la Cruz. Good. Maxi. Not Maxi. Stazi. Go. <laughs> Interesting school. Okay. Okay. Anybody, any other good kids? Private school. Okay. Good. Anything else? It's on Santander Street, which is the main street of Panacho. Okay, it's the main street in Panacho. How'd she get there? Uh, <laughs> by pie. <Yes. laughs> Main Street Cafe, try to fix her up in the morning. A pie. By foot. By foot. Next. Muchos llegan antes de las clases y juegan al fútbol. El fútbol es diferente al fútbol en los Estados Unidos. Se juega al fútbol en Guatemala con los pies. En Guatemala, los chicos dicen que juegan al fútbol. El fútbol se llama soccer en los Estados Unidos. Patricia va a su colegio a pie. La familia de Patricia no tiene carro. ¿Ok? Same person or group? The ob talk about the obvious main idea of that paragraph. Go. Go. Okay. Ready? So obviously we talked about soccer. Um, foot. They call it foot. Um, in um, other parts of the world, they do you know other things they call similarly? They call soccer similar to this. Footy. In uh, Great Britain, I believe, it's called footy. Yeah. Which really makes sense. I think we've had this conversation that American football probably should be called something else. Brown ball. It's wonderful, but probably not. Running ball. Yeah. Running ball. Running ball. Running ball. Running ball. Running ball. All right. Next. Hoy, oh, the other important fact we found out is La Familia. Ready? Yeah. Mitch has it. La Familia de Patricia no tiene carro. Right? Just they don't have a car. Okay, so tengo una pregunta, clase. ¿Dónde? Clase. ¿Dónde vive Eduardo? Durante la semana. Lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes. ¿Dónde está el guardia? ¿Dónde está el padre de la familia? Oh, ¿no está en Panahacho? ¿Por qué Eduardo, el papá de la familia, no está en Panahacho durante la semana? Eduardo es un agente secreto. Eduardo es un agente secreto. Es un espía. Como James Bond. ¿Y para quién trabaja Eduardo? ¿Remember that word? No. 
gobierno, yeah, el gobierno, he works for the government, en la ciudad de Guatemala. Mariah, ¿por qué Eduardo no trabaja en Panajachel? trabaja para el gobierno. Ok, pero ¿por qué no trabaja en Panajacho? ¿Por qué no tiene un trabajo en Panajacho? Ah, no hay, no hay <coughs> muchos trabajos en Panajacho. Right, there aren't a lot of jobs. Ok. No sé. Uh, Panajacho está a tres horas en bus de la ciudad de Guatemala. Yeah. Bus, bus, bus. This is common, right? That uh, in some countries, developing countries, uh, where there's not a lot of work in rural areas. It's also very centrally located. So, and I know I re reference China an awful lot. It's similar, it reminds me so much when we talk about stuff like this. Many people that live out in the, in the rural areas do not uh, work there. They come in and they work. And sometimes they, they leave their families for a year or years and then return or send money back later. All right, here we go. Uh, hoy, Patricia va a su clase de inglés. Patricia entra a la clase. Es un día normal. La profesora habla con la clase. Dice que, she says that, hay una posibilidad de ir a los Estados Unidos por un semestre. La profesora les explica detalles del programa. Okay, so right now with your partner, explain that part, and then what are the three details? Go. Okay. I know, but it's, I don't want to read it. Actually, I thought about I thought about you when I was choosing one. And I thought about that one, but I remember. Uh, it's just, I mean, it was a decent book, but it's, it's a fun one. But this one. Can't wait. That's actually Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Three things. Adriana, give me one thing. One of the details. Good. Students have to be able to speak a little English. Two, Brianna. Uh, they need to do something. Good. They have. They need to pay part of the cost of the program. Parte del costo del programa. And then three. Who, um, John? What is the way? Uh, let me help. What's Sally? Oh. Sorry? Sally? Um. Go ahead, Josh. Okay, he needs to leave. He or she needs to leave. Sally or is to leave. Sally, he or she leaves. Remember that one? He or she leaves. Yep, good. All right, so what about all these things? What is this all about? Okay, so it's some sort of exchange program. And that's the opportunity. All right, let's see what happens. Patricia está emocionada. What's emocionada? Don't say emotional. 